My name is Jason. Welcome back to Catch Fish Not Feelings. Today we're diving a new spot. We're going uh, diving at Malibu. Next to the uh, PCH right now, Pacific Coast Highway. So it might get kind of loud. But swells look great today. It's only about a foot. Entry is going to be sandy, I hope. And hopefully visibility is going to be as good as it was at Palos Verdes a few days ago. But it's an incoming high tide goal is to you know bring something home to eat but i think i'm gonna focus more on trying to get lobster my lobster card is looking a little empty right now so i really want to do fill it out a lot but yeah i'll see you guys right in the water got my dive floats i'm gonna swim out with this I'm gonna strap my spear gun on my fiberglass fins and my dive bag Like that, we go back. <laughs> so we are in the water. Big shout out to Chris for being my dive buddy this trip. He's another Spiro that hit me up online on Instagram, and we met up to go for a dive. I'm not too familiar with Malibu, and it was just kind of reassuring having someone else with me that's a little more familiar with the area. But in this trip here, the visibility was great. You know, conditions were pretty calm. Visibility is maybe like 15, 20 feet. But I just didn't see too much life. I didn't see a lot of opal eyes or any big calicos or big sheep heads out there. But I did find this really cool ledge and it was just filled with scallops. And that's probably why I didn't see too many fishes. Just because I spent most of the dive focusing on scallops because I just found so many. So when it comes to diving for scallops, I feel like it's best to look for big, steep, rocky ledges like this where it's facing the current most of the time. And that's because most of these scallops are filter feeders. And that's how most of them get their food, through the current bringing them food. So that's where you're going to find them. Yeah. And what you're going to need like is, right you're definitely going to need a float? flashlight and a scallop bar. Oh, I'll, I'll the flashlight is just to help you look for them and the scallop bar is going to help you wedge them off the rocks. And what I've learned is that, you know, there are some scallops oh, yeah? that you're going to be really, it's going to be really easy to get. And gotta, there's a few that's going to take a couple of tries. You got to yeah, dive up and down a few times until you get the right spot to wedge it off. And there are some where you just can't get at all and you shouldn't waste your time on that. You know, there's some scallops where they're kind of wedged and they're stuck deep inside a crevice and you have no leverage in taking it out. So if you do try, you might be wasting your time and energy and that's just going to make you more exhausted throughout the dive. So just learning to be selective and just, you know, don't work too hard for these guys. Or, I mean, don't work more than you have to for these guys. But what you're looking for is the orange lips of these scallops. Most of the time, I see that some of them don't have that orange lip and it's just a little black uh, slit. That's kind of what you're looking for. Here, you can kind of see the orange shell and the black slit in the middle. And it's just it just takes some practice. You got to develop an eye for it. But as I think if you stare at the rocks long enough, you'll eventually start seeing them more and more. So here I'm looking up, signaling to Chris to come down to, so I can show him how to find scallops. Just because he's a little unfamiliar or new to it. But there were a few scallops he was trying to get, and, but they were just too hard to wedge off. But he ended up harvesting a good amount of uni, which is great. So we didn't end up skunking or anything like that. But nonetheless, it was a pretty great dive. Unfortunately, my GoPro did run out of battery, so this is kind of all the footage I was able to get for my scallop diving. But that's enough of me talking. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> I saw. I thought I saw a couple. I think there's a couple more down there. It's cool. I've never seen one that clean. Yeah. <laughs> there's an abalone down there too, but. Oh yeah. I think there's a couple more on this rock.
Nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's more on like this uh ledge right here. Uh-huh. Yeah. I was looking at the other two. I can help I can help you, I can start out with that. I do not have the eye for a lie. I've never taken one. <laughs> yeah. It's like you just gotta look for the uh, orange lift. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't like wedge my bar between. Hold on, like right next day. What is it? It's a half moon. Blue perch. Solid dive of Chris. Chris got the uni. I got some scallops here, four of them. Uh, these aren't pretty, but I still got them. <laughs> and we got a half moon right here. Really nice dive today. Really good. So I just finished changing. Said goodbye to Chris. Shout out to him for uh, showing me Palace or showing me Malibu. Great spot to dive. But we got some scallops. So this is what the inside of the scallop looks like. I know it's not pretty because I kind of broke this one in half. But I got the other half. Let me grab the better half. So that for you guys that are familiar, this is the uh, big rock or giant rock scallop. So this is how it looks like closed and pretty much they're just camouflaged and it's really you have to really look for like their orange lips that they have but this is what the inside looks like this is like the edible part this is like the meat or the muscle that you'll eat and these are all the guts because these guys are filter feeders and whatever they filter out like toxins and stuff like that gets accumulated in their guts so you just want to throw all this away and only eat this giant white part in the middle but pretty decent sized scallop right here this one's pretty big too and finally just got one fish the half moon also known as blue perch they're kind of bluish you can't tell but they're called half moon because they have like a black spot right here that looks like half a moon 
on. Overall, pretty solid haul for today. It takes a lot of work to just get those scallops because sometimes for one scallop, it takes a few tries going up and down. And it's a little hard finding like that perfect spot to like wedge them off the rocks. Plus, scallops are pretty expensive too. You know, like whenever you go to a restaurant, it's like four scallops for like $35 or $40. And I got four of them right here. So it's really nice to bring that home to eat. And the half moon is like a pretty nice plus too. There's no size limits for the half moons. And I'm pretty sure the bag limit is either 5 or 10. I'll put a link below. I'm not too sure. But for scallops, it's uh, 10 per day. And we got four. It's pretty good. <sighs> yeah, and overall, Malibu is pretty cool. There's lots of great structures. Um, that little ledge I found had a bunch of scallops. Yeah, there was a couple that I couldn't get at all. And I just couldn't find like any opening to like put the scallop bar in to wedge them off But I'm happy I got um, I got four is pretty good we We're out there for maybe about uh, two or three hours It's nice swim out, not too bad Overall conditions are pretty good Entry was pretty easy Swells are about a foot It uh, it picked up a little later on like I we all got a little seasick but overall, visibility wasn't bad at all. I've seen worse. <laughs> but in terms of fish, I didn't see too many big calicos, just small ones and whatnot. Like a small female sheephead. But definitely want to try out this spot again in the future and hopefully get those lobsters and get more scallops. But yeah, thanks again for watching, guys.